Hello fish tank fans. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I do a uh, water change on my uh, rack system here. So I'm just going to do, uh, let me explain what I got here. Essentially each of the tanks has a bulkhead in it. Water overflows into the bulkhead and then down into uh, the dirty water pipe which drains into the red 55 gallon sump and there's a pump in the in the, in the sump there is a um, I'm going to show you in here what's inside just have a little water disbursement action filters goes into a fine filter then a coarse filter and there's a big garbage there's a big bag of bio balls and a pump when it gets to the bottom there's a heater and then the water is returned through this line here flows back into each of the tanks and drips in and that's the cycle and what I want when I want to change the water I'm going to do an abbreviated water change for you so you understand what happens here it's pretty easy and cool and I'll explain the parts first thing I'm going to do is I am going to unplug the pump Right now what's happening is the water is draining down below the bulkheads and filling up the sump because I have the valve in the open position. Let's assume for a second I've done the whole change. Um, what I'm going to do now is going to turn off one valve, open the exit valve. And now the exit valve will drain right into the sink. And the way it does that is there's the plug in. Let me show you what's going on here. A little crash bang action is just emptying, draining right into the sink. No fuss, no muss. Okay, what happens from there, assuming we've emptied the whole entire tub out, I would unplug it then I have a water system here this is the hot valve this is the cold valve basically I'll open it. I'm gonna open it up make sure everything's closed off first kind of set it this is the hot this is the cold what I'm gonna open do is open the valve so that I can just get the temperature of the water correct when I feel it's correct what I'm gonna do Turn the valve off here, and turn the valve on here. So now the water is flowing and filling up the sump. And I'll wait a couple of minutes, and I do it by eye. There's no big, it's not scientific or anything. And every once in a while, I'll add some uh, prime in here uh, when I do a, a, a double water change. And then what I'll do after the after it's filled up, I will turn this off. Plug it in. Turn the valves. And now water change is done. Now it's flowing back into the tank. Close the lid up and you have a water change i do it a couple of times a week doesn't take me long at all and that's one of the beauties of having a a system like